More money in our pockets as the inflation rate cools. We should have just kept our mouths shut. On to Holomisa's take on South Africa hijacking the Ukraine-Russia peace process. <laughs> Crippled by crime, no service delivery and fear, Dipsluit residents head to the union buildings. And you couldn't make it up. Rapist and murderer Tabo Besta's former attorney in court on charges of attempted rape and assault. Hello, I'm Jane Dutton. These are the top stories. This is Eyewitness News. So let's start with some good news. Inflation has cooled, slowing to 6.3% for May. That's a 13-month low and down from 6.8% in April. The Reserve Bank has been raising the repo rate to stop rising inflation. And this figure is now moving closer to its target range of between 3 and 6%. The Eskom debt relief bill has been officially passed. It'll see the National Revenue Fund provide debt relief for Eskom to the value of 254 billion rand over the next three financial years. And the National Treasury take over more than half of Eskom's 400 billion rand debt. Last month, opposition parties lambasted the passing of the bill, claiming it wouldn't resolve the country's energy crisis. The results from the table are as follows. In favor, 3-0 against 18 abstentions, 0. Uh, the bill is therefore agreed to in terms of Section 75 of the Constitution. The question now is what impact will it have on us? Could it ensure long-term sustainability? UDM's Bonte Holomisa believes that the AU peace mission was ill-advised and South Africa had no right going to Russia and Ukraine. He was speaking on Sidi Madia's politicking. I don't think uh, we should have poked our nose into that, med, that in the affairs of Russia and, uh, and Ukraine because we know the history. The tension there is between Russia and NATO. Yes. Simple. Full stop. Hence the treatment of South African journalists. Yes, yes, Poland. yes. There's no other way you can describe it. As long as NATO is not willing to come to the table and sit around with the Russia, then there will be no con the, no conflict will be resolved there. Also, hijacking that from the UN Security Council, because that matter should have been handled from day one, by United Nations Security Council. Then when they try now to blackmail South Africa and so on and so on, we should have just kept our mouth shut. To listen to the full interview, visit our social media pages. Climate change experts are warning South Africa to prepare for a potentially strong El Nino. It's currently manifesting in the central Pacific Ocean and heading our way. The weather phenomenon is associated with drought and heat waves. El Nino is typically associated with drier than normal conditions and warmer than normal conditions in Southern Africa. It's not every single case, and not all El Ninos result in that impact, but all our severe droughts have been associated with El Nino events. The extreme opposite of what we're seeing today in the Western Cape. Flood damage to Citrus Dahl's main access road has forced residents to remain in the town with those outside forced to find alternative accommodation. Residents and travellers have been telling Eyewitness News of how they've managed to survive in the flood-stricken area, many of them staying at the Riverview Community Centre. And they helped me there for the night, and the next morning I want to go back to the N7. The policeman told me, oh, no, he can't take me because well, there's a lot of flat on the wall over the bridge, so he can't go through. So, and then at the end of the day, he told me I must come here to the community center to stay here. And, uh, yeah, and this morning I went back to the bridge to try to get over it. So the guy there stops me and says I can't pass that bridge because well, the water is too strong for to walk over. The floods have also badly affected the economy there. Citrus Dahl business owners have expressed their frustration at having no electricity for a third day in a row. Heavy rain and flooding cut off the power supply to the Cedarburg municipality town on Monday. Marching on the union buildings to be seen and heard, a delegation of leaders representing Dipsluit residents. They're angry over poor service delivery and rampant crime. 
Yesterday, protesting residents blocked the N14 highway, while some burnt the homes of suspected criminals. Gunshots, hijackings and zero police visibility are just some of the many problems described by Dipslert residents. Our outcry is just reaching the, the closed ears. So that is why we, are, we see it. But unfortunately, all the, the, the gates are closed. So we are still persuading them to open for us so that we can have those engagements. After all the interventions, our people are still dying. Dipslert is just one of the many communities in the city of Johannesburg that has been calling for a solution to issues relating to crime. Former National Health Department spokesperson Popo Maja has been charged with fraud-related charges in connection with the Digital Vibe saga. He was accused of accepting a bribe of 15,000 Rand in 2019 to influence a tender of over 141 million Rand in favor of Digital Vibes. This is the latest prosecution linked to Digital Vibes following an SIU report into how millions of taxpayers' money was paid to the controversial company Intenders. The report also found that the money was squandered on repairs to former Health Minister Zueli Makize's home and his vehicle for his son, among many other things. The alleged attempted rapist defending the rapist. Tabo Besta's former attorney was in court today. He's accused of attempted rape and assault. She arrived at the 27-year-old suspect's unit of an estate situated in Topsy, Smith Street, Langhoven Park, on Wednesday, the 8th March, the victim alleges that they had a conversation before the suspect dragged her to the bedroom and forcefully attempted to undress her. She managed to escape and left her shoes behind. The 27-year-old man, who cannot be identified until he pleads to the charges, briefly appeared in the Bloemfontein Magistrates Court this morning. The case has been postponed. That wraps up the bulletin. See you for more tomorrow. Remember to like and subscribe. Eyewitness News. In touch, in tune and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.